Everywhere we go, we get amazing responses to the Odyssey. Sometimes it's really dangerous. They pull alongside, they take photographs, they wave, and, and I can't get traffic around me. It's understandable when you consider how unique the Odyssey looks. She's a head turner. I didn't actually set out to make a truck camper at all. 18 years ago, I originally built a tool wagon for contracting and engineering work. I used it to transport equipment to job sites several states away and to sleep in if need be. The outside at that time was as you see it today. The inspiration came from the sheep herder wagons that came with their herds to the high Rocky Mountain pastures in the spring. The inside was added and revised as needs arose over the years. I needed the tool wagon to be really light and inexpensive. I built it with a series of wood ribs formed by gluing and screwing narrow strips of quarter inch plywood to a jig to obtain the shape. Then I bent eighth inch door skin plywood over those ribs and secured it with screws and adhesives. Then I added resin and fiberglass to the exterior to waterproof the unit. Lastly, it got painted. It's had several coats of paint over the years. And that's how the Odyssey was built. A few years ago, we retired and the inside was revised again. I added more shelving, lights, a freezer, refrigerator, more batteries, generator, solar, and swivel chairs. I turned the workbench into a dining area. The kitchen features a sink, stove, oven, large pantry, tile countertop, and lots of storage. To keep our food fresh, we have an ice box and a refrigerator freezer that runs on 110 and 12 volt. Opposite the kitchen is a sitting area with two desk chairs and storage bins below. We use the area for meal times and as a computer or workspace. The tabletop is covered with floor tile. There's no need to worry about hot pans ruining the surfaces. Everywhere possible, I have built-in storage nooks. I recently built one into the dinette sitting area. If we need more storage, I create it. You'll find it all over the Odyssey. The windows are 1 8 inch plexiglass and stretch from one side of the camper to the other. I got the idea to use plexiglass this way from aviation and boat design. When we move the curtains, we have a 180 degree view. The plexiglass windows have been installed for 18 years without a leak. Midship, I have converted tool and supply storage to closet, pantry, and household storage with additional shelving. This is where we store our coffee maker, griddle, electronic chargers, freezer containers, and the like. We don't have a bathroom. We actually prefer it that way. We started traveling in the 70s and there were few places we could dump our holding tank. But it's different, of course, now. But we never changed our ways. We'll use public showers and bathrooms when not boondocking in the middle of nowhere. The Odyssey has an outside shower from the old tool wagon days, but it seldom gets used anymore. We sleep with our feet towards the nose of the camper. That's also where our dog Huckleberry sleeps. He goes with us everywhere. Above our heads, I installed a 180 degree plexiglass window. At night, we can look up and see the stars. It's beautiful. We have a single 100 watt solar panel mounted on the rear of the camper. Behind the solar panel are three batteries. We also carry a 2000 watt portable generator. I built a PVC stand that allows the panel to be angled up from the camper. The panel can also be removed and put on the ground and then positioned towards the sun. The truth is we're looking for our next step in this journey of life. We have a cabin in Colorado, but we're open to new possibilities. We might move and settle down somewhere new. We might buy a different RV and continue traveling. I don't know. And we're okay with that right now. Until we find our next step. We have the Odyssey.